Richard Lander, L Richard Lander from Microsoft, who is going to talk to us about Lilac. Yes. Uh, so yesterday we released this new project called uh, Lilac, and I went, oh, I'm in some like arbitrary point in the slide deck, which is not very helpful. Okay, this is the start. Yeah, so yesterday we released this uh, project called Lilac. It's a um, uh, yeah, new open source project from the .NET team. There's the address where you can go uh, check it out. It's in the .NET org. Uh, we call it Lilac. Um, it's really just a kind of a cute, uh, more human way of saying it, and it's how we pronounce LLILC. Uh, this is what the repo looks like. Uh, we actually have been working with the LLVM team. Uh, they were kind enough to uh, let us post on their blog yesterday, so we've been talking directly with Chris Latiner, uh, who's the uh, project leader for, for LLVM. Uh, so we actually have gotten some feedback on our name. Uh, it's called LLILC, because it's to, intended to match the naming scheme of LLVM and LLVM-based tools. That's why we have two L's, and then the ILC stands for IL compiler. So that's why we named it that way. Um, this project is a set of code generation tools uh, built on top of and integrated into LLVM. And I'll explain what that really means. Uh, and so this is entirely focused on native code generation. You know, we have something like Roslyn, which is a source compiler to produce bytecode. This is the other end of the spectrum. It's focused on generating machine code that runs on a chip, um, like x86 and ARM. Uh, and it's only limited, the set of chips that we can support is really only limited by um, the chips that LLVM supports. Uh, LLVM is regarded as one of the highest quality compilers in the world. Um, the code that it generates is quite fast. Uh, it's used a lot by Apple. I mean, the project's fundamentally kind of um, uh, supported by Apple. Google uses it, and so now we're using it too in the context of this project. Uh, LLVM is very generic in nature uh, by design. It's, in, it's intended to be able to support basically any chip that either did exist or will exist in the future. Um, and it already supports uh, many chips. I don't know what the exact number is, but it's quite a few. Um, yes, yeah, so LL, LL or LILAC uh, uses this API. Uh, what it's doing is it's actually converting IL bytecode to LLVM bitcode. Those are just the names that the two projects to chose to use. So uh, bitcode is the intermediate representation that LLVM uses before it lowers the code down to machine code. And once .NET code is into LLVM, then that's where the magic happens. Um, the real reason we're doing this is the majority of the cost of porting core CLR to other chips is the JIT, it's code gen. Uh, it's not the GC, uh, it's certainly not the framework library. And so uh, we've been aware obviously for a long time that LLVM has this nice fan out to all these chips and so we wanted to take an advantage of uh, all the work that has already been done. Uh, this is logically separate from operating systems. Operating systems is a different porting cost and concept. This is entirely oriented around chips. Um, our team is focused on uh, these three chips. Uh, other folks can go and build support for other, other chips. Uh, another thing to clarify is the team is, is mostly focused on adding CLI support to uh, um, LLVM, and that's actually where the heavy lifting is. Uh, once that happens, then it's relatively straightforward to add supports for chips, so other chips. So we actually have this term, team inside, army outside, and if we can leverage uh, the, um, if we put the, the .NET team to work at the things that it is uniquely um, qualified to do, uh, and then use the community for the things that are more general, then actually we get a really nice kind of collaboration effect, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. Uh, we're working on two projects right now, got 20 seconds left. Um, uh, one is a JIT, one is an AOT. Um, this is complementary to .NET Native, and we can imagine integrating 
that into uh, .NET Native into the future. Here's some pictures that I'll just whip through of the architecture. Um, and we've got a bunch of stuff working, and um, we have a okay, and we have a bunch of stuff to go do. Thank you, Richard.